I'll tell you what, though, guys. That was a hell of a race today. Shake and bake and full effect. It's always been like that. <laughs> Me and Ricky, since we're little kids, man. Yeah. We go together like Chinese food and chocolate pudding, let's face it. Yeah, but Cal, those are two things that don't really go together, though. And we, we go together like cocaine and waffles. You no, know, like, for instance, if you if I say peanut butter and... Ladies. Yeah. Right? No, jelly. All right. Jelly. I was you like say, to put jelly on a lady? Tell you what, I'm gonna settle this thing. Let's just get ourselves a whole mess of cocktails. <laughs> get drunk and work this thing <laughs> out. Work this thing out, that's, that's what we're gonna right. do. So, I was talking to Nana on Saturday, and her birthday's coming up, but I don't know what to get her. She's gonna be 88. Get her a coffin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cal. Uh, I'm sorry about wrecking you today. I mean, but that's for the team. No, oh, that's I mean, cool. That's cool, Ricky. That's cool. You know, you know, I was thinking though, one time uh, it would be really awesome if, like, you could slingshot me in for a win. Yeah, but okay, but if you won, how how am I gonna win? Yeah. Think about it. No, I was thinking about. It. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you're finishing 18th. There's nothing wrong with silver. Nothing wrong with silver at all. <laughs> I'm just kidding you, man. I don't want to win. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just bury it down inside. Bury it deep down in there and never bring it up again. It's painful, and I love you. Get her a gigolo. What? A guy to have sex with her. Oh, she's going to be 88, and you don't stop liking sex when you're old. Well, I was thinking more along the line of, um, like, she likes afghans and quilts and kind of stuff. She's probably got, like, a million of those in her closet. How many dudes does she have coming over to have sex with her? None. Exactly. Be thoughtful, Glenn. Don't stop! What is that? Someone made a tape of something dying or something. Hey, turn that crap off! What's going on? I want this music out of my head! Hey, turn that off! <laughs> turn that off right now! <laughs> Why did you stop the jazz music? Was it not pleasant for you? No one plays jazz here at the pit stop, OK? So why is the song on the jukebox? We keep it on there for profiling purposes. We also got the Pet Shop Boys and Seal. My name is Jean Girard, and I am a racing car driver just like you, except I am from Formula 1. I am the greatest one in the whole world. I have been following your career with great interest, Monsieur Bubby. I can't understand a word you said the whole time. Do you eat some peanut butter or something? Yeah, you sound like a dog with peanut butter on the roof of your mouth. I think what you are hearing is my accent. I am a French. You say you're French? We. Oui. We? Oui? No, we are not French. We're American because you're in America, OK? Greatest country on the planet. Well, what have you given the world apart from uh, George Bush, uh, Cheerios, and the Fai Master? Chinese food? Chinese food. That's from China. Pizza? Italy. Chimichanga? Mexican. Really, smarty pants? What did French land give us? We invented the democracy, existentialism, and the blowjob. <laughs> Those are three pretty good things. <laughs> hey. Well, that last one's pretty cool. And so I saw Nerf. You know, the 69 with the head near the, that bit? We came up with it. We created the missionary position. You're welcome. Ricky Bubby, I have come here to defeat you. Oh, well, there's strikes two and three right there. <laughs> Did you hear what you said? <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to America, amigo. <laughs> You are fast, Ricky Bobby. But I am fast. All right, you let go of me, you Formula One jazz nut job. Like the frightened baby chipmunk. You are scared by anything that is different. I will let you go, Ricky. But first, I want you to say, I 
love crepes. Don't you say it, Ricky. These colors don't run. I'm not gonna say it. Good. Hey, look, Frenchie, I thought about it. So why don't you go ahead and break my arm? I do not want to break your arm, Monsieur Bobby, but I am a man of my word. Here's the deal. He's not gonna break it, because I'm gonna slip out of it right now. Who didn't Whoa, oh, do it? Whoa, down, you little funky. Someone might as well give me a beer while I'm down here. But you have forced me to do this. You are now mocking me and making me look ridiculous. Just say, I love crepes. You know, just to put this in there, yeah. I had a whole mess of crepes this morning. They're just like pancakes, maybe even better. Wait, are they the really thin pancakes? Yeah. Yes, they are. They are the really thin pancakes. It's just a French word for them. Oh, my God, I love Whatever those. syrups you want on them and stuff, I'm just saying, think about it. They come with cheese sometimes? Like yes, cheese. of course, a fromage crepe. Well, why didn't someone yell at it right, right away? Do you know what's in the crepe Suzette? Oh, I love the crepe Suzette. With the sugar and yeah, the, the sugar lemon juice. Yeah, the lemon juice, sure. Come on, yeah. I, w I wish I could crawl into one of those right now. Uh, <laughs> right, my way out from the inside. <laughs> oh, it's <that's laughs> how tasty. Oh, man, you know, either way this goes down, can we go get some after we're done? Absolutely, we're going to do that. Bon, so what if you just said, I love a really thin pancakes? That is a fair compromise, no? That is a fair compromise. That's very fair, actually. Yeah. Okay. Now, because then everyone won't know I really meant crepes. That's actually a pretty good compromise right there. Why do you want me to break your arm so badly? You don't understand. You don't understand because you don't understand liberty. You don't understand freedom. So you put a crack in my arm like the crack in the liberty bell. You hear me? Hey, yeah. It's just between you and me, OK? Yeah. I mean, forget all these other guys, but <laughs> he did give you a pretty decent out. But it's your call. What do you think? Don't say it. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. Nope. Break it, Pepe Le Pew! As you wish. Oh! 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 He actually did it! Oh! 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 You did it! Oh! Oh! Back off! Oh! Oh! You did it! You did it! Oh! Oh! Say it. No, you did not! Your injury is one of ignorance and pride. Au revoir. Hold it right there, Mr. Fancy Pants Foreigner. You just broke my bro's arm. Now you're about to get tasered. Oh, Say hello to Dr. Watts. Good gal. Hey. I need you all to step away from my driver. What the hell are you talking about my driver? What are you doing with a gun in here anyway? Don't you worry about my gun, Ricky. Jean Girard is my new boy at Dennett Racing. He's here to win us an overall points championship, something you apparently have no interest in doing. He's going to usher in a new era for us. Mr. Dennett, with all due respect, and remember, I'm saying with all due respect, that idea ain't worth a velvet painting of a whale and a dolphin getting it off. Oh, that's, that's good. That's good fun. That's good fun, Ricky. But it doesn't bother me anymore because Jean is the future, Ricky the past. So Jean introduced me to your new teammates. Uh, everybody, uh, this is my husband, uh, Gregory. What? <laughs> See what's the track. Did he just say husband? Sweet Lord. Dennett hired a gay Frenchman as your teammate. Room's starting to spin real fast. Because of, because of gayness. Cal, I love you. Ricky! Oh. Ricky! Oh, God!